Hey, hey guys, it's gonna be Flickman and Luigi. Luigi, can you believe yeah. this guy's name is really Luigi? It is, it is. That's amazing. <laughs> and I, we're meeting for the first time in Lima. Mm -hmm. What's the name of this airport? Yeah, uh, Jorge Chavez. Jorge Chavez, Jorge Chavez airport. airport. And we're having a beer as always. Anyone's gonna meet me, got a beer? <laughs> gotta have a beer with him. Or oh, whiskey, whiskey's alright too. Um, and we're meeting for the first time. And he's like, I mean, we've been chatting just for five minutes now. And I'm on my way back to uh, Japan. I'm going to go through America. I got, uh, I've, I've actually bought almost nothing. We bought a couple carpets and a couple uh, pillow covers. Well, yeah, yeah. A little omiyage, which is gifts and stuff. But, but anyway, this guy's got a very similar uh, background of mine. So I thought I'd you know, interview a stranger. Right. He works at the airport, right? Well, right. Uh, well, I mean, born in, in Peru, right? Born in Peru. Right. What part of Peru? Lima. 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 Yeah. And he speaks like English like amazingly well. Right? <laughs> thank because you, thank you. because you're partially Mexican like me, right? Mexican. Everybody thinks we're Mexican. Everybody thinks we're Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on where in the United States yeah. you are, right? Yeah. If you are in Florida, you got to be Puerto Rican. Or Cuban. Or Cuban. Yeah. If you are in uh, New York, you are what? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Right. Right. And if you're in the and Jewish, 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 yeah. Puerto Rican Jewish, sure. Yeah, it really depends. But so you went to the States when you were a year old? No, no, no. I went to Argentina when I was two okay. years old. Two years old, right. Argentina. Right. And I lived there for uh, 10, 14 years, I think. Okay. Lost okay. But uh, then I moved to the United States, lived in Georgia for uh, around seven years. Did you do the Georgia accent? I, I didn't try. How y'all doing? Uh, Long time no show. It's more like Florida, I don't know. Do you, you know Duck Dynasty? I did. I saw the video that you made about it. Have you, I haven't seen I've, any episodes. I've seen only one episode. I really don't like it. I don't no? understand how come you be famous. I, mean, I don't know. Really? Just, like, Reality TV. Family. I don't know. Yeah, Reality TV. Anyway. And uh, then you lived in America for how long? Yeah, seven years. Seven years. But you were an illegal, illegal alien. I was an illegal alien there. A, I hope you're okay to talk about yeah, that. I, feel, I, I think it's okay to so talk So how did you get it. into uh, America? The border. <laughs> I mean, you want you cross the border? Really? Right. From I mean, Mexico? From Mexico. Right. Of course. Where else? Right? Not Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't know anything. That was just a field trip. You know, my mom told me, okay, we're gonna run through here and we'll make it to your home. I'm like, okay. What's like what? How old were you? I was 13 at the time. 13, and they took him over the border. That's amazing. Right. I know. But why would you leave Argentina? That's a good life down there, no? Not in 2001, man. They kicked the president out. Oh. Everybody was revolting, and all your really? savings went to hell. Yeah, it was. It was a really big bad time there. But that happened just before we left. We didn't right. know all that crap was going to happen. So, so you got lucky. Yeah, we got lucky. We were watching the stuff from the states on the news. I'm like, oh my god. Who was president when you came over? De La Rua. No, no, in the, in the USA. In the US, Bush. Bush? Right. The first one? The first Bush? Yeah, no. The second Bush? Yes, oh, yeah, right. second Bush. 2001, that's right. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. And, um, I didn't want to have to think, you know. <laughs> so you came over, I, yeah. and you were illegal alien. What did your parents do? They, yeah, yeah, you did work, like, yeah. you know, housekeeping, you know, classical. Did you classic. have to, like, sell your body on the street, like, I, child, no, child prostitute? I not. <laughs> that's too bad, that would have been a good story. I didn't right? know it was illegal for, like, <laughs> For like six years. I was, really? Yeah. See, when I wanted to get my driver's license. Oh you know, yeah. Like, see, he okay. he he emailed me this story like a, like a year yeah, ago, or two years ago. Yeah, and I thought it was a pretty interesting story, but I never thought I was going to meet this guy. Yeah. Wow. Well. So you went to get your driver's license, and then you realized I'm illegal. I'm, I'm illegal. illegal. Oh my god. Yeah. And then what happened? And then I was like, okay, I couldn't. I would. Yeah, I can. I can't drive in the country if I don't have a license. I mean, I could, but I really didn't want to. Right. And I, when I got 18, I was like, okay, mom, the hell with this? I don't want to be illegal. I don't want to be free, you know? I want to be like, I, I couldn't go to college. Right. Because I didn't have a, uh, a green card. So it's like, yeah, the hell with it. I'm just going to go back to my What country. did you just marry some American slut? Or I, They're easy out here. I know. <laughs> They'll marry anybody. I know Especially that. Latin lovers like us, you know? We got that hot Latin passion. Issue, you know, but it's I'm like, just kidding, but <laughs> they're not all sluts, just like 50% of them. Um, <laughs> And lesbians, because they won't date me. You know? you know, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, right. So, so you decided to leave the country. Right. Because you were a man of honor. That's right. Look I, at this. I got it. my 18th birthday, I waited for a month after that, and then I was like, okay, mom, I'm going home. You know, really? I don't want to be here if I don't want it. Like if I'm not um, uh, wow. legal. So I went to Argentina, go to college, you know. Uh, did, uh, so you were an Argentinian citizen, actually? Or? I had my uh, my ID. Yeah. I since I lived there for ten years. My sister is Argentinian. Oh really? And uh, yeah. So can you do the Argentinian accent? Yes, hijo de puta. Por supuesto, como Argentina. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> my, uh, 
Yeah, my accent. 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 I love the Argentinian accent. It's, it's unique. It's unique. It's beautiful. It's funny. It's great for cursing. They curse a lot down there. Right? They curse a lot. <laughs> and they don't mean it, you know? It's like... So, okay, Argentinian women, because people want to know, Argentinian women versus Peruvian women versus American women. I don't know, man. I prefer Argentinian women. Oh, yeah? I, they're just, there's a mix, you know? There's a big melting pot there. From big melting you. pot. Yeah, exactly. Big melting pot, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and they wear their jeans, you know, they, they, when I was down there in 1987, they would put on their jeans by getting them wet first. I know, yeah, And they put them on when they're wet, and they would shrink and, and they would shrink on you as they dry, right? Exactly. And they would like you. I mean, talk about camel toe. <laughs> Jesus, it was amazing. Yeah, um, wow. And everyone, everyone was beautiful. Everyone's beautiful down there. So. Yeah, they look really good. Yeah. I love American girls as well. Man. Yeah. You get get uh, a little races over there. Oh, different races, yeah. Exactly. Argentina don't have white. That's yeah. it. But, you know, in the States... Peru is more mixed than I remember it. It seems to be more mixed now. I haven't been here in eight years or so. Mixing which way? Like, more races. There's a lot of white people, you know, well, black it's people. It's tourist season right now. Yeah, more oh, people, I see. Yeah, I don't know Peruvian. They're here for the season. Oh, I see. Still more, mostly mestizo. Yeah, only right? mestizo. So, would you think, did you think I looked Peruvian? Would you know I was Peruvian? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you had the we know, we can tell. We can, we can we, tell. Yeah, I don't know. Do I smell like video. Peruvian? Do I exactly. smell? Exactly. You were talking about the Peruvian you met on the bus. Yeah. Like you could tell what they smell. I guess, that the guy's Peruvian. Peruvian. But that's true, right? It's true. You it's can true. smell a Peruvian. Because yeah. it was because of the Yama smell. Right? Maybe. Like the wool or something. The diet, maybe. I don't know what it is. It's just something that you can tell if somebody's Peruvian. So that's pretty mind. impressive. So now, now we watch in an airport in Lima. And, you, and what got you into the YouTube video? Or well, watching at least? Uh, because I've been in love to, uh, with Japan like since I was five years old. What, what kind? Are you like a weeaboo? You like the anime crap? or? No, really. I mean, culture. Just, no, the culture. The culture is so okay. beautiful. You know? okay, interesting. The way they, yeah, they, they, they live, I just find it amazing. Have yeah. you ever been? Or? No, fortunately not. That, you know, when, next, I went, huh? I started wanting to watch your videos. I started watching Tokyo Kuni as well. Oh, yeah? uh, Tokyo Sam, you can call them. Tokyo Sam? Tokyo Sam. <laughs> they don't make videos anymore. Great, great I video know. bloggers, but they don't make videos anymore. I know, they don't make it. Whatever happened with um, The Pointless? Oh, The Pointless. Yoko uh, loves The Pointless, right? Sabino. Sabino, yeah. I don't know that stupid son of a bitch, Chilean, who thinks that Pisco is Chilean. No, no, Chilean. Pisco is Peruvian. And my father told me, yeah, there's this big war between Chilean and Peru about Pisco. And they, they think that Pisco, Chileans think that they make Pisco, but apparently there was a big lawsuit, an international lawsuit. They won it. And Peru, won Peru, it. Peru won. So now, by law, Chile is un is not allowed to call anything that they make pisco. So fuck you, Chile. Now you want to get a little hate because of this, huh? I love Chile, but fuck you on the pisco issue. Uh, of course, I'm just kidding, guys. But anyway, what happened to him? Uh, he's just busy. He's making money. He's making money. You know. Oh, okay. How do you say "cómo dicen plata" in español? In Peru. So in 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 uh, Peru, this is money. In America, this is money. In Japan, this is money. Okay. And in Brazil, this is like I, I take it up the butt. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So be careful. In Argentina as well. Be careful. Yeah. And then I take it up for the up. I take it up the butt for money. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> okay, that was rude <laughs> and crass as usual. Well, he's making money out. Like, well, it's just his job. I can't talk about it. Okay. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a male prostitute. Okay, okay. I don't want to talk about it too much. What about the girl that used to be all the time? The, the girl that um, Heather? Miss Pac-Man. Oh, Pac -Man Miss Pac-Man. Well, yeah. she's she's on. She's still around, but she doesn't make videos anymore. She's still beautiful. I'll send her this video. Oh, Heather. Geos, Heather, very beautiful girl. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful man. woman. Uh, I mean, that and Greg's very smart. Well, yeah. more importantly, that's why Actually, she's that's sexy because she's smart. Yeah, she's smart. Now. But anyway, so anyway, this is uh, Luigi, and you, have, you don't make any videos of I don't make videos, but I guess I'm going to start to start. You got to start. Make a video about no, Peru. My idea was, and it still is, to go to um, Japan one day and make it there like you did. Yeah. And start making videos in Spanish. You could do it. So, no Spanish if you are a Peru, that's true, very, very few of us, very few of real ones, not me, I'm not real. But, but if you're Peruvian, because this is such a corrupt country, you can probably bribe someone yeah. to give you Japanese uh, credentials, like your great grandfather Japanese, you do it on paper, fix the paperwork. That's a good but apparently, idea. a lot of Peruvians get to Japan that way. Mm -hmm. I heard. Right, that's right. And there's a lot of work in Japan uh, in working in a factory if you're a Peruvian, which, you know, 
is not the, oh, I got a, a question for you. It's not the best work, but it's better than living in Peru, economically speaking, because what is the average salary here? Uh, 800 soles, which is... A month? Yeah, a month. A month? A month. 800, so, now, you know what, I just saw a um, uh, GoPro camera here. It's 2,000 soles. No, no, it's what, $800. Which is about right, right? About two thousand dollars, right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, this could eight hundred, eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. How much is that? Like one dollar. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred bucks a month. That's the average. Yeah. yeah Shit, that's man. the minimum. Yeah. So in Japan, you would make a minimum, even if you have the worst job in the world, you'll make eight hundred, uh, seven hundred yen per hour, right, Yoko? Yep. Seven hundred yen per hour. You work eight hours a day, so that's just, that's five. That's fifty bucks a day. Okay. So one week could be there. Four days, you got it. You got it, you know. And that's All right. They, you know, they keep sending that money. Yeah. Well, look, I got Yoko's board. She wants to get to her. Uh, she's got a. She's got a uh, lemonade. She wants to drink. We gotta get on the plane. But yeah. thanks for thanks for talking to us. Thank you Again. very much. Yeah. Luigi, you. this is real name. When you see him in the comments, say hello. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Adios. Hasta la vista. Sayonara.